Doom Eternal is a great game, my favourite in fact, however, it isn't perfect. Whilst the game is extremely high quality and made by a team full of talented developers, like every game, it can be improved. And with the release of Doom the Dark Ages on its way next year, what better time is there than now to discuss the issues with Doom Eternal that can be fixed in the future? And aside from mentioning the fact that I stream every Saturday and Sunday at 10.30am Pacific Time, and that you should totally join, there is nothing else left to say in this intro. Let's get into the video. Admittedly, the AI of Doom Eternal is pretty good. The sheer amount of AI on screen at once, and how they work together in the combat encounters, is something that I think id Software should be really, really proud of. But, they still have some problems. Oftentimes, in some arenas, you may notice enemies getting stuck or just standing still. You know, contemplating life. Is it really worth it? Maybe Doom Guy isn't that bad. Man, I really shouldn't have eaten that rabbit earlier. In fact, the first video of mine to ever get over 10,000 views was a video of a Hell Knight just standing still and, as I said in the title, giving up. It doesn't happen nearly as much as it did around the earlier stages of the game, but it's still a common thing, especially with enemies such as the Prowler. And in general, getting stuck in arenas is a big problem. This can be caused by two things, either A, the thing we literally just spoke about where enemies will get stuck and just stand still in one spot, or more commonly, random Valder demons going off and doing their own thing and not really trying to go after the player. It's oftentimes really difficult to find the enemies in these moments, leading to a lot of player confusion and frustration. Considering the more open level design of Doom of the Dark Ages, I assume this is going to be a problem they fixed more. But if they haven't fixed it, then it might be a more severe problem. So it's after, this is something to think about before you release the game. Fortnite. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. When was the last time you played Battle Mode? Like many have said in the past, it is a really fun idea, but the key word there is idea. If it were executed better, then maybe it would have been a bit more popular, but in this case, it wasn't that great in practice. And I think that opinion is held by, uh, everybody. I think one of the main problems with Battle Mode was its lack in gameplay variety. I mean, it was the only mode in terms of multiplayer in the game. And that's probably most of the reason as to why a lot of people got burned out playing Battle Mode. Having just one game mode is not enough. A large portion of the Doom community does think that Doom should just be single player from here on out, and that we don't have time for multiplayer, that it doesn't belong in Doom. But I think that portion of the community forgets that multiplayer has been a huge part of Doom since its inception. Doom is pretty much what started FPS multiplayer as we know it today, so why leave it out? It certainly has a place in this franchise, and with the Dark Ages going back to its roots, I think this is the best time to introduce it. But a multiplayer is pretty much nothing without a lot of post-launch support. Oh no. 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Doom Eternal came out during an um, unfortunate time for game developers. Not being in office and having to work from home is understandably a huge obstacle to games development, and whilst I'm sure that id Software had tried their best to keep creating content for the very, very hungry fan base of Doom Eternal, I really don't think they kept up very well. Keeping with the topic of multiplayer for just a moment, the game's multiplayer was heavily neglected in terms of post-launch support. During the game's whole lifespan it only saw one new demon and two maps. After launch, all players can expect additional playable demons and maps. Bruh. Moving back to the territory of single player, as I'm sure you're probably sick of me talking about multiplayer at this point. This guy stinks! Doom Eternal did get a fair amount of post-launch support in terms of its single player. It got two expansion packs, four master levels, and a meh void mode. Which is great, but there's a lot of content that we missed out on. Along with the often slow to release updates, there was a huge amount of unfinished levels that we never got to see. Now, with the help of modders, we can play them. But what are people on console meant to do, like, kick rocks or something? <laughs> That's no fun. I am begging you with software, please have a little bit more post-launch support, especially for the campaign, but also the multiplayer, to try and keep this game a bit more alive. Doom Eternal had long stretches of content drought, and as a content creator who makes videos about Doom, that was a, a big struggle. I understand Doom is not a live service game, but a consistent flow of updates is something I believe we need. But quickly, this video and all my videos from here on out are partnered with Acker Clothing. They make great quality clothing items such as the one I'm wearing, and by supporting them you are directly supporting me and the production of these videos. If you're interested in buying some new comfortable clothes for yourself, or just supporting this channel, then I recommend checking the store out using the discount code BEANSPRO. Right, they get it now. Get on with the video. And I get the feeling that this game is trying to idiot-proof itself so it'd be accessible to everyone. 
Okay, this one is sort of nitpicky, but I'm still not a huge fan of these idiot proof cutscenes. I understand their purpose, they are meant to tell the player where to go, but you see that little age rating in the corner of the game? The game is rated an 18, and I'm sure most adults have the mental capability to try and figure out where they're meant to go in the video game. I mean, is it really that hard to see the gate that opened 5 meters away and think, hmm, maybe I should go that way? The only reason I'm mentioning this is because of the more open nature of the dark ages. I think having these type of cutscenes may be helpful, but I think the game should ask you as an option before it starts if it's going to include stuff like this. Indicators like green lights are fine, but these cutscenes are a bit far. If you're looking for more Doom content such as this from myself, then I'd recommend watching the video that's appearing right here. Also remember to check out Akka Clothing and also subscribe to the channel.